There are several myths that persist in the automotive world. Some are just plain ridiculous, but others are accepted as fact by many drivers. Let's look at seven. Myth number one, car dealers are out to screw every customer. Not a chance. The car companies started to get smart a couple of decades ago when they recognized that a consumer's intent to purchase their next new car from the same brand was impacted by how the dealer treated them. Myth number two. The old adage has been to change your car or truck's oil at 3,000 miles with precise regularity. Almost half of all drivers hold fast to that notion for two or more reasons. The environment and their wallets. Yes, most waste oil does get recycled, but it's burned as fuel boilers in factories. Not exactly a clean process. And your wallet. If you're using a coupon every time you're buying the budget oil, let's say your oil change costs $30. By changing your oil at your manufacturer's recommended interval, if it's 7,500 miles, you'd save $600. Longer intervals or using synthetic oils will save you even more. Myth number three, the penny test. You know the rule. Stick a penny into the tread of your tire head first. As long as it touches the top of Abe's head, you're cool. While Abraham Lincoln preserved the union, he's not looking out for your safety. Sorry about that. You see, the top of Abe's head is actually the legal limit just about everywhere, so what Abe is telling you is to get thee to the tire shop. A better test is George Washington, which is perfect as we all know he's incapable of telling a lie. The measurement to the top of George's head is a much better gauge of when you should start shopping for tires. Myth number four. Don't buy a car built on Monday or Friday. This one's been around forever. Back in the days of less cooperative union and management relationships, absenteeism would skyrocket on Mondays and Fridays. But with a far better partnership between the companies that sell cars and the men and women who make them, this kind of fluctuation in absenteeism simply doesn't occur. Myth number five, engine oil that's turned black is no good. Engine oil that turns black is actually a sign that the oil is working. Modern engines contain detergent dispersant additives that keep engine internal parts clean by removing carbon deposits and maintaining them in harmless suspension in their oil. Myth number six, you can drive a long distance on empty. When your car hits the E-line, there just isn't much gas left in the car. Fuel gauges read using a logarithmic scale, which in this case means that burning one gallon of fuel when the gauge is at F moves the needle far less than when the needle is close to E. The reality is it's probably between 20 and 40 miles to empty, but that's just an estimate, so don't push it. Myth number seven. Having work performed in an independent shop will void the new car warranty. It's actually illegal for a car manufacturer to deny a warranty claim on the grounds that work was performed at an independent shop, provided that the shop is registered with the state and work was performed to a professional standard. Check back for more auto news at GearHeads.